Hi, this is Shoshana Shia. Uh, in today's video, I want to do, share a couple of thoughts for you if, you're, if you've perhaps taken a look at my previous unboxing, which had some art supplies in, and we were looking at some cost-effective or low-cost affordable art supplies. In this video, I, want, I thought we'd take a look at a couple of the pencils and items that I have in my um, pencil box. And uh, I'll show you a couple of things that can be done if you're transitioning into or you're start trying to get into using your art more, whether you want to be working towards being a professional artist or you want to use art and drawing as perhaps a stress release. There are lots of benefits of drawing. So if you're wanting to do more drawing and you lack the financial means to get really professional products, let's have a look at, in a follow along into the next part of this video and we'll turn the screen around and have a look on the other side at a couple of items that you can find in my pencil box and maybe it'll give you some ideas of some cost effective ways that you can get start to get into your drawing journey too. So here we are on the other side of the video and in this video we're going to be looking at a couple of ideas as to what you can do if you're on a little bit of a budget but you're wanting to get into drawing more into using your art more um, there are obviously various different mediums various different ways of of being an artist but if you're wanting to be a fine artist then the most logical place to begin is with drawing uh, in my situation if you've seen any previous videos of mine I started using my art more by wanting to improve my drawing skills in order to illustrate some workbooks that I was working on. So in my situation I didn't have a number of the art supplies that I was needing um, and I, being in transition I didn't want to spend too much on art supplies. So that's what gave me the idea of this particular video firstly if we think about paper there's obviously all kinds of sketchbooks you can get and types of paper that will be more quality and their benefits for having a more quality sketchbook but if you're needing to just get encourage yourself to get into drawing don't let the paper be um, the deciding point you can use any a any paper for that you would use in your printer, scraps of paper you find, you could even draw on, this is a piece of card that I have that you, you'll see underneath. What I'm working on here is a large piece of card. Um, use what you find around and don't let that be a, anything to keep you back from starting to draw. The next tip I would say is that in my, my own pencil box, um, although I have got some some more quality pencils, which are, for example, I have a set of the, the range of the B pencils from 2B through to 8B, um, and there's lots of benefits to that. We're not getting to that in this video. What I want to do is encourage you to just use the regular HB pencil and get into drawing, because there's so much that one can do to improve drawing skills as I found myself. Um, sorry, I was going to show you just a couple of these regular pencils that I have that I've got from various times that I've had the opportunity to have to purchase various pencils. The difference between these two pencils and this pencil, they're both HB pencils so is this one actually we're going to get that to that shortly the difference is these ones are round and this one is triangular and that's really great for comfort of the hand and to help you to stay in the tripod grip i naturally draw or write in it with a tripod grip so from that point of view um, i didn't need the assistance of the pencil to help me to to remain in a tripod group, grip Although when you're drawing as opposed to writing, there are times that you're going to move your hand into a different position. That's one position that's quite often used when shading. But still, the, I find the triangular uh, shape of the pencil very comfortable on my hand. 
that helps me to be drawing for longer amount of time so be mindful for yourself pay attention as to what shape pencil you find more comfortable um, this triangular pencil we managed to see in one of the supermarkets at a stage that there was a back to school special so keep a lookout for the back to school specials you might find all sorts of pencils paper um, notebooks fine liners all sorts of materials stationery comes into the into a number of different stores as specials um, that they have for in, for when people are needing supplies for going back to school and it's a good place for you to get some really great low-cost art supplies or affordable art supplies if you're on a budget or you're wanting to give a gift that's a great opportunity this pencil here um, the difference between these two pencils they're both HB they both are triangular this yellow pencil is slightly larger which I really enjoy as well I I thoroughly enjoy when I'm drawing with a larger pencil but there are times that you want the point to be finer in order to do more detail so you might need a variety of your pencils those are just some ideas about pencils I'm not getting into more of the technicality of art um, I'm not an art teacher I come more from an occupational therapy background I did do some study some art at high school and art was always my first love so I'm very grateful to be moving more into using my art let's get to two ideas as to what you can do to improve your art and drawing skills um, the first one is a, a thought that I had that I discovered myself and I'm going to explain the the idea two ideas and then we're go I'm going to be doing a little bit of drawing while I talk a little bit more um, these ideas come from some exercises I have more from my occupational therapy background but I I was excited to find them crop into some art and drawing tutorials that I watched on YouTube as well so the first idea is to keep in mind that everything really breaks down into lines circles and shapes um, a lot of the shapes are going to be straight lines and some of them will be made from circles whether they're 3d whether they're cylinders whether they're an oval which is a variation of the circle so let's start by freeing ourselves up and just filling the page with lines so we're starting off with straight lines and the the first object before you objective sorry the first goal before you start getting to worrying about your lines being as straight as possible is to just free yourself up by using lines any kinds of lines fill your page with lines as many as you can manage to fit onto the page this is a great exercise to do if you've um, had any challenges in your life if you're needing to brainstorm come up with ideas and solutions to just get your analytical brain out of the way and start doing a little bit of drawing you'll find by drawing and creating that you you're able to start thinking for yourself of other options and other ideas and as you go you'll also find that you're improving your art skills to begin with don't worry about accuracy to begin with just start with drawing drawing lines and later on you'll go to do a whole lot of circles and if you're interested in a different video we can get to some other ideas of exercises to do so the first tip is to just just work on your lines on drawing lines if you wish to do some of the exercises that you'll find that some of the um, art tutorials call 
Zen, what do they call them? Zen tangles. I used to do these, uh, these kinds of ex exercises naturally on my own. But you'll find if you allow yourself to take the time to try to get the distance between the two lines, once you've start do started doing or you've done enough of just doing straight lines, try to see what you could do to get the lines an equal distance from each other. And now you're going to start to look at those lines being as straight as possible. Vary the length of the line. So you want longer lines. You want shorter lines. The more that you do lines in different directions, the more that you're going to be able to improve the accuracy when you're coming to draw or to sketch something from real life. You'll find that to to be a skill that's tremendously beneficial. I'm not getting into at the moment whether your pencil grip is a tripod grip, what kind of grip you're using. I'm not getting into whether you what whether you're holding the pencil at the end of the pencil, further back on the pencil. For now just enjoy filling your page with lines. So that's the first tip of an exercise to do. And the next tip, which we could do either within the same section, the same area, or you can use a different page. In this case, I'm going to just turn the page around so we get a different part of the page for the video. And we're going to be doing an exercise, actually. Let's go back to what I was doing here. To fill your page instead of with lines, fill it with circles. So previously we were doing lines, now you're doing circles of varying different sizes. Your goal here, firstly, is to do the round circular shape. And then try to see to what extent can you get those circles to be completely round as an accurate circle of different sizes. As you can see over here, I did different circles. Can you see that? Different circles within the circle. Here I had some concentric circles. You can do that again so in case you didn't see that or if it didn't come out quite accurately. And you can go over that line again do the circular round and round a couple of times if you need to you'll notice if you pay attention to my breathing that my voice and my breathing has become a lot calmer just by doing this drawing and so that helps you to know or to have a bit of insight as to a health benefit you can have from drawing. So we mentioned getting the mind out the way so that you can help with problem solving, help to decide if you're needing to make decisions. And if you're needing to just concentrate on improving your drawing skills, you'll get that as well by drawing lines and drawing circles. And in other videos you can get to to look at some other exercises, some other techniques that one can do to be able to improve your drawing. I'm not an art teacher, so I'm not going to be getting into explaining how to draw certain realistic drawing that I'll leave to the art teachers. I'm just coming up with a couple of thoughts and a couple of ideas of um, what I found to be of benefit to me for various different reasons and that's what I'm hope to be sharing in this video is what is the benefit of doing lots of circles drawing lots of circles should we say what is the benefit of drawing lots of lines it also helps one if you're wanting to free up 
uh, sometimes some people might be writing a story, writing an article, and you find you have a little bit of writer's block. This is a great exercise to help to get the words flowing also. You could also use the lines and the circles to do some mind mapping. I could show you how in a different video if you're interested. So those are a couple of ideas that I had that I thought that I would share. It's come from my journey of looking to improve my own drawing skills so that I can illustrate a couple of workbooks that I was working on. To a certain extent I've got a little bit of sidetracked into improving my art and discovering just so how many ways there are that one can use art and that one can earn from art which for me is a tremendously freeing discovery so if you are anything like me and you would like to improve your art journey if you would like to get to be a successful artist one tip that I've heard in a number of videos from those who have become successful artists is to keep in mind that it's not necessarily an underlying talent that will help you to be successful but rather to regularly consistently be involved in some aspect of drawing or creating or the type of art that you like to to be involved in and as I've said in the book that I wrote about occupational therapy it's the types of activities that we're involved in that if you continue doing on a consistent basis that's what makes us the people that we are so somebody questioned where I got that idea from and it came from starting to get more involved in using my art and using my writing and uh, the idea was that if one's drawing daily you're likely to become an artist if you're writing daily you're likely to become a, a writer and so that's where the idea came from if you're interested in more about occupational therapy you're re welcome to read my book and if you're interested in more about becoming an artist or about an artist's journey or changing direction in life starting to be more creative or you're wanting to earn more effectively all of those are ideas and topics that I'm interested in doing more videos about I'd love to hear from you what kinds of videos you're interested in if you can see the circles that I'm drawing here some of these circles the more that I draw even just in this session of doing circles the more that I draw the more accurate they become and of course if you want to start <clears throat> to add some lines to your circles you could do that as well and you could bring in a little bit of variety on that page or you could add some circles to your page of lines the more that you allow yourself to just be creative the more that you're going to find that you naturally are going to be moving more into a creative space so if you're wondering what do you do in order to get to become a successful artist start off by just drawing enjoy your lines enjoy your circles if you're needing to just use basic low-cost art supplies it certainly is possible to start to improve your skills I'm finding that a lot of my drawing is improving I'd love to see what you're doing with your drawings and I'd love to hear what kinds of videos you're interested in so if you've liked it or enjoyed this video at all please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you're interested in more videos of this nature and let me know whether you'd 
be interested in another unboxing for the next video or some kind of a drawing and chatting or perhaps you'd like some other thoughts about occupational therapy or about changing career or leveling up your income to be able to be to fulfill whatever your life goals are we can get into some ideas about earning as well so that's pretty much come to the end of this video for now Shoshana Shia coming to you from Jerusalem in other videos I've quite often said I'll see you in another video I'd like to change that because I won't be seeing you but you might be seeing me unless of course I'm on the other side of the video in any event I look forward to spending time with you and to sharing some thoughts some creativity I'd like to hear more about what your needs are and uh, I look forward to creating another video so with that I wish you a very blessed day Ciao for now and enjoy your drawing <laughs>